Previously on AI The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Alright then. Let's begin. Oh wow, you're not gonna say it, Peter? Oh, thank god. And then Komeji just comes out and says, You have six minutes, Miyuki. God fucking damn it, I hate this job. Fuck all of you. Fuck all of you. Fuck! Alright, Miyuki, it's time to go to the hospital. You're you're losing it now. And now back to Miyuki going cuckoo for Sorry about that, Drabby. Ah, oh, he's gonna be out for a while. Ah, oh, damn it. Hey there, guys, there's a uh, Mizuki here. Uh, Drabby's gonna be out for a while. I was getting a little bit tired of, like, you know, not being the star of the show, and, well, you heard the results. So you're stuck with B until he eventually regains consciousness. But don't worry, don't worry. I've been practicing for this. So, let's see. Yeah, this is how he did it. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, I'll put my own spin on it then. And now, about to bash you people's skulls up with my metal pipe! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Drabby Therian, bringing you another episode of AI The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. We last left off. Ah, oh, man. We went through a, a very, a very beautiful route. Shoma and Komeji's route. That has got to be the best route in the game so far. I was like, I'm sorry guys, I know, I'm gushing about it too much, but I I love like happy endings. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I just prefer like happy endings to sad endings and such. Not that the, like the, the sad or bad endings can, you know, leave a mark on my memory and such, you know, Annihilation route. But I just, I don't know, I just love the the happy endings and such, like uh, Mizuki's route, Ota's route even. Well actually like Ota's like route didn't like technically end on like a, a happy note, it was more like a what the fuck moment, but still, Ota's character arc had a good like resolution. But this route with like Shoma and Komeji, I can't, I can't really say that it's better than Mizuki's route, but it's a very close second. There were issues with like the, yo, the crazy like, uh, you know, combat section just being like, you know, kind of goofy a little bit. But when it comes to like, uh, Shoma's character and, you know, how he, you know, rejected his father and like hated him and such. But deep down in his heart, he knew that he loved his father and like, you know, all the bad jokes that he makes and just the fact that he keeps trying and trying to make him happy. It's just... It was just enough to make him smile. And like, honestly, like, I feel like I probably would have, like, been so torn up if I played that route before, you know, the route that, you know, is canon, which is where, like, Komeji dies. Because I could understand why Shoma just... He, he just lost it when he, like, uh, saw Komeji's dead body. Because at the time, we didn't know that, you know, secretly, Shoma did love his father. So seeing him die like that was... He, it probably was, like, life-changing. Even though Shoma was still talking, like, normally afterwards, which is just weird. And we didn't really see Shoma afterwards at the end of the route, did we? That's interesting. We didn't... I don't think we did. Like, we went to Shoma at some point while searching for Kizzy, but he wasn't at his house. So where did he go at that time? I think it was another character who did that as well, but I forgot who it was. I think it was Amame? Amame wasn't there, I, I think? I think the, the mask woman. Yeah, the, I think the mask woman. She wasn't, like, around when we were, like, encountering terror at the cathedral. So I wonder what those three were doing at the time. And I think we'll finally get to, you know, unravel more of the mystery in Mizuki's perspective. Yeah, about time. God, man, it's been, it's been ages. Yeah, no, we, I know. I, I bought this game purely off the basis that I was going to play as Mizuki and Ryuki at the same time or something. But I ended up having to play what is likely half of the game as Ryuki. Which I have to say, I don't think it entirely sucked. Okay, I, I know I've been racking on, like, Ryuki as a character, and, like, you know, racking on the fact that, like, ugh, I can't believe I'm playing as him instead of Date or Mizuki. Trust me, I don't hate Ryuki at all, you know? I don't hate him. I do think that they're trying, you know, to do a good angle with this character. And his idea of, uh, you know, being an investigator means he can be a hero of sorts who can save people from the bad villains and such. I do like that angle about him, plus, you know, his banter with, like, Tama is really good. Though I had to, like, you know, talk about him individually without, you know, Tama and such. I am still wondering what is going on in his mind. His, you know, his, like, reactions to the, the videos and such, where he just, like, loses himself and starts speaking in Chinese or whatever, and starts seeing things and such. I, I'm starting to think that maybe... Just maybe, secretly, Ryuki agrees with, like, Tokiko's philosophy about the world not being real. The 
world! I know, I know. I said it myself. Ha! <laughs> but I feel like somewhere deep down, he feels like Tokiko was right in some ways, or he agrees with her. Some in, in some manner or capacity, even though he tries to hide it. That he believes that like there's something else going on in the world, or he's actually seeing that like Tokiko was right about it. Like, you know, how he saw, you know, Shoma going to the Ferris wheel. And then just suddenly vanished, and he and then he like remembers what Tokiko said. There were like so many instances where like Ryuki is remembering the words Tokiko said, which implies that like Ryuki was actually paying attention to what Tokiko was saying and was like you know seriously considering her philosophy. But then there's still more questions like I have in my mind. It's like you know as pertaining to the blue person we saw in the cathedral as Ryuki, who was that person? We still don't know. But I feel like. Ryuki might actually answer that question once we ask him as Mizuki or something. I feel like that might happen. Still wondering why they had to hide it though. It's, it's kind of weird, but you know, I guess it's for story purposes. Back to what I was talking about. Like, Ryuki's a character. I don't hate him. I don't hate him at all. I just prefer Date. I keep saying that a lot, but I just prefer Date and Mizuki, okay? They're I'm sorry, they're just well established characters that I just grew to love. I don't feel like I was forced to play as Ryuki. I don't feel like, you know, it was a slug or A of the sort. I do like, you know, portions of his, like, you know, route and such. But I would prefer if, like, Ryuki was a bit more, like, if, I think that was intentional. It is intentional that, like, Ryuki isn't as, like, you know, crazy as Date or as, like, you know, playful as Mizuki. I feel like that's the point because Tama seemed more like the Date to Ryuki and such, while Ryuki is more like Aiba. So I can't really give Ryuki too much flack on his personality. That's probably what the developers, you know, intended him for him to be. As for Tama, I do like Tama a lot. I think, like, you know, the moments where she gets so angry at Ryuki are just, they're just priceless and such. Plus, you know, some of the weird stuff that comes out of her mouth, they were just crazy. It really feels like she is a Diodate. Like, she and Dati would be a duo that that would destroy the entire series, just by far. But anyways, that's enough me, you know, rambling and such. Let's finally get to what you all came for. Mizuki's route. So let's first, like, you know, go into where we left off. I'm probably allowed to, like, uh, you know, go all the way back into the like, Terrakeet's room and, like, you know, switch to the Somnium world and such. All right, let's get started. <laughs> you just imagine, like, you know, uh, Mizuki, like, listening to this entire conversation. It's like, okay, so, so... The box dude died. No, 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 no. There's this neocortex looking motherfucker. Then this woman who kept talking a lot. Then the box dude dies. Yeah, that's exactly how it went, Mizuki. I, I know, I know it's crazy. Trust me. You'd probably lose your mind if you went through the same thing. All right, let's do the Somnium world again. And then, like, you know, see if we can, like, uh, input that answer. You know, I'm just noticing the whole stuff that's happening here. Like, the, you know, the Ferris wheel horses and, like, all the... Oh, the, this thing, thing here, the balloon inside the cage. I think these were all in like a. Oh my! I didn't notice this. Oh my goodness! That addle rabbit inside of a stew. <laughs> I didn't think they would like have that inside the uh, Somnium world. And then there's the lonely panda bear, who's actually his head is looks inflated. You okay there, lonely panda bear? Oh no, I, I'm doing totally fine. My head's about to pop though. Oh god, that's scary. All right, well. Bye then. Okay, finally we can like answer this damn question. What is this? Do you know the culprit? I the culprit's name. Alright, I know. It's it was Da Lia boat, right? Yeah, Dahlia. Dahlia. Boat. Huh? Why do I. this name? Yeah, 16 whole episodes just to figure out a simple name. Oh! Oh shit, he's doing it again. Oh shoot, Tama's doing the two. It's 
fine scrambling. Intrusion thwarted. Wait, what? We've defended against Ryuki's consciousness. Did I do something wrong? No, 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 that was definitely the name. So was everything okay? That was definitely the name. Why is it... Am I starting over again? Usually, the sinker goes into the subject's mind. Okay, it's gotta be like a moment where things happen differently. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. We have blocked the root of intrusion. We are reconnecting to Ryuki's mind via another path. That's good. But why did that happen? Uh oh. We're gonna start speaking Chinese or something. I just know it. Oh wait, what? We're doing it again? Dude, I feel like I got hit by like Killer Queen's like stand or something. We're doing this all over again. You remember the name. Remind them of something something. You remember the name. Return Ryuki to Sanity. This place is... It's the cathedral. Okay, so it's kind of going to be the same thing. I'll try to like, you know, edit out the all the filler that we've already seen in the second episode. If you guys have bothered to remember what even happened in that episode. It appears as though the collapse was halted halfway through. Huh? Wait! Oh, something's happening. There are more mental locks? I will scan again. Are you serious? Wait a minute, isn't this the, technically the tutorial for us? Well, it's a long story, Mizuki, but we kind of went through an entire round without you noticing. What? Somnium scan, activate. Oh, jeez, kind of glitching out a little bit, looks like. Mental lock number four. Mental lock number five. What's happening? There could be more mental locks? Unknown. Everything about this is extraordinary. Oh, Ryuki. Dahlia. Boat. Dahlia. Boat. Okay. Let's go. Ah, that's surprising! Usually this is the part where you tell me that I have like six minutes left of my time limit, even when I'm in a Somnia world. Deja vu, right? Wh what's this? Oh, we're surrounded. The rubble turned into a hand. Ryuki's dream sure is creepy. Yeah, what does the hand have to do with this? The hands up in the sky. I don't really understand that part. That's probably the only thing I don't understand. Darn, we cannot get through. Is this Ryuki? Dahlia, boat. Mizuki, that red aura is bad news. Oh, well, I haven't seen that in like ages since Takara's like Somnia World. Actually, no, it's Tokyo Somnia World. The time compression element waves are off the charts. If you get caught by it, you'll lose time. Run! Run? Where? I'm trapped! Calm down, Mizuki. That Ryuki has neither a shadow nor a face. It must be a shadow image created by the regrets Ryuki carries. When you see something so unstable, you only need to show it reality. Okay. A strong reality. So what? A bastard ahead for my metal pipe? Yep! Show it reality. Oh fuck. Uh shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh yeah, false eye. This is Ryuki's AI ball. Tama? There is no response, but most likely. Impression of Tama. Throw it. Call for Tama. Oh jeez, that's a times two thing. I guess I don't know, like uh, la, 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 throw it. Put it in Ryuki's left eye socket. Play baseball with his face, huh? I will aim for the left eye socket. I did it! You don't look like you did it, Aiba! Wow, Bullseye! Are you okay, Aiba? Oh, eyes hurt. <sighs> this whole thing is a mess. 
Ryugi's broken mind was blank. I had to figure this out then. Ryuki's AI ball. I probably was use an impression of Tama or something. It's probably that. Hey, it's me, Tama. Ryuki, make sure you get plenty to eat and get lots of energy. This is your best impression? Well, it can't be horny, cause you know, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Tama. Oh my god, so now she going to work. Oh, it got a reaction. I knew it. My impression was so good, it pulled his heartstrings. That wouldn't go that far, Iba. No, that's not it. Don't you think the real Tama would have gotten a bigger reaction? Ryuki blank with blank blank. Blank are still held blank. On. Ryuki's AI ball. For fuck's sake, I have to actually spend an entire minute on this. Call for Tama? Tama? That's you, isn't it? Help Ryuki. Oh, that was the right one. Wait, is she actually here? Oh, it's really Tama! Oh my god, those milkers! Damn! Ryuki, get a hold of yourself. Are you gonna hold on to these regrets forever? Do what you need to do. What I need to do, what I need to do is... Okay, I lost an entire minute because of that. Fuck. Return Ryuki to sanity. Almost sane. Ryuki got along with blank. Blank. Blank are still held blank. Hama was Ryuki's anchor. She kept him tethered to the real world. Yeah, with the big tits! God! Why don't you have that, Aiba? I'm so jealous! Right. Hmm. That rubble there. Is that lower than before? Do we have another time limit? Mizuki, you have five minutes left. Well, we just lost a minute, so yeah, we have a time limit. Hey, Ryuki. I... Justice. Oh. This is Boss's room. Uh, is this the part where he got demoted? Oh, Date! And Boss! Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. I am so, so sorry. Fuyuki, how many times do I have to say this? I can't assign you anything if you're going to carry on with this ridiculous sense of justice you have. I understand. Listen, I'm glad you caught the burglar. But when they started crying, you bought them lunch and took them on a drive. How silly, right? That's my line. Uh, I'm sorry. You're being suspended for two weeks. You can't leave your house. Take time to reflect. Jesus Christ. Ryuki, everyone makes mistakes. Even me. I always make mistakes. And every day I get an earful from an artificial intelligence eyeball and a grade schooler. Ah, wow, well, fuck you too, Dante. I'm glad you're dead. But it's okay to make some mistakes. As long as it's in pursuit of justice. So, don't falter now, Ryuki. I won't. I've never seen Date being such a good superior. Mr. Date, I made a mistake. What is justice to me? Mr. Date. This isn't an illusion, right? I remember this conversation. We should cheer him up. Hmm. Ryuki got along with Date. Blank. Blank are still held blank. Probably something related to Date, most likely. Uh, oh shoot. Once again, I am, even in the Somnium world, I am looking around Boss's room. For the love of fuck. Cheer up. You have four minutes remaining. Cheer up. What with the Halloween thing? Cheer up with the Halloween thing? Put this on your head and cheer up. 
Um, either you don't put those things on top of people's heads. Why not? It looks so funny though. <laughs> Why are you wearing it too? Pumpkins sure are yummy, huh, Ryuki? This isn't working. Of course it isn't! God! Ryuki got along with Date and looked up to him. Blank are still held blank. <laughs> oh my god, I still have the pumpkin on! <laughs> okay, I'm so glad I didn't take this off. Okay, it's probably like the, the Mario thing, right? Here, Ryuki. Shh. Hold on to Mario. It might make you feel better. For the love of fuck, Ibo, can you please take that off? This <laughs> is so funny. Hold me tight. It talked? Doesn't float his boat. Hmm, okay. Ryuki got along with Dante and looked up to him. Blank are still held fondly in his heart. The coffee? Could it be the coffee? They drink coffee together or something? How about some coffee? Nothing better than drinking boss's coffee without permission. Yeah, plus you have that uh, pumpkin head on your face. Looks really cool, yeah. Thanks, Sate. Thanks. One mistake? <laughs> teaches you more than a hundred successes. Who do you hear that from? Homeless guy I drank with the other day. Smart, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yo, that fucking pumpkin head is just like, just breaking my aversion right now. It's, it looks so goofy. God, I'm so glad I did that. We still have it on, holy crap. <laughs> I kinda wish I didn't do it, but I'm so glad I did. You made Dante face forward. Tell them to get ready. Ryuki got along with Dante and looked up to him. Memories of drinking together are still held fondly in his heart. Awfully strange advice. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like a thought to you, Vice. Completely worthless, but somehow still works to cheer you up. Then will you take that pumpkin head off, Gaiba? Please! We're surrounded again. <laughs> you do, Ryoki. This Dahlia. is... Boat. I feel like some of you guys should have warned me about this. You guys should have been like, Drabi, no matter what you do, do not pick the pumpkin option. <laughs> you guys probably should have said that. But then again, I probably would have listened to you and tried anyways, because I because I'm that kind of guy. Ew, it's the creepy Ryuki. Aiba, be careful. Yes. If we show it the truth again, this space might disappear too. Alright. See what we can do. No way. Oh fuck, it's going right towards me. Shit. We gotta be careful. Uh, there's a torch here. Something else over here too, but let me check this torch here. A torch. Can we use it for something? Throw it. Breathe it. Maybe breathe it out because of the flames. You try to throw it. Take this. It went through. The torch had no effect. We need to use even more force. Yeah, this is like metal pipe of mine. For the love of God, Mizuki, can you stop talking about your metal pipe? No mercy for your own co-worker. Ryuki's broken mind was overcome by shock and erased. Okay, so it's probably something to do with shock and erase. What's this? It's an evolver. We might be able to use this. Ah, I see. He shot someone, right? Fire a warning shot, shoot yourself. Let's try firing a warning shot. Stop! I said stop! Not working, huh? Stop! Too much, it's just supposed to be a warning. <laughs> yeah. They're not stopping. No effect. Looks like we need a direct shot. 
Yeah. Three minutes left. You can do it's this. Involver. All right, shoot Miyuki. Shoot her right in the eye. Are you sure? This might have ill effects on Ryuki's mind. Aiba, at times like this, pretend what you're shooting is made of jelly. That's what my master taught me. That was your master Date by any chance? Okay, I'm not talking about that ever again. <laughs> my apologies, Ryuki. I have no choice. Mr. Date, please forgive me. Ah. So he shot Ryuki and he Ooh, stopped. Went away. I guess that's like a, a mirror effect of what he, like his mind was going through when he, he pointed the gun at Date. I suppose. That makes any sense. Oh, finally, Ryuki's with no pumpkin head. Dahlia. Boat. Another Ryuki. When it rains, it pours. We need to deal with them, too. Hurry. Yeah, how, how am I supposed to avoid those guys? Alright, I'm gonna have to, like, uh, draw them in somehow. Draw them to one side and, like, get around the other. It's probably that. Now to, like, figure out how to get those spots. Okay, so... Is it metal pipe? Oh, metal pipe! Maybe metal it's pipe. metal pipe. Yeah, let's bash the skulls open with it! No doubt about it. That's mine. But why is it in Ryuki's memory? Yeah, I didn't really, like, hit him with it or anything. Not once. Perhaps it left an impression? <laughs> Maybe. It is not every day you see an elementary schooler carrying around a metal pipe. Yeah, was that something you like to do every day, Mizuki? Like, did you bring it to school every day? Yeah, I thought all the cool kids did it! Oh, really? Fight, equip, throw. I don't think fight's a good idea. I can't do throw. I don't know if it'll work, though. That's the thing. Let's try something else, actually. Not that. Oh, fuck. Didn't know it would do that to me. What's this? It's a time bomb. What is this? A time bomb. Iva, run! Do not worry. It is not active. And we might be able to use it for something. Yeah, probably blow them up. Like what? Take apart, throw, activate. Yeah, activate it. I can't really like use any timing for this one. And just like that? It's armed. Mizuki, what do we do? What? 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 Throw it. Throw it at Ryuki! Fly! <laughs> Boom! Oh shoot, my PS4! It's an <laughs> like explosion, shit! I should've realized, I should've realized when I saw saw the bomb, I was like, oh fuck. Oh fuck. My PS4 is sweating, it was like, oh shit. Here we go again. <laughs> ah, my poor PS4. I always have to go through fucking explosions in this game. Mizuki. It flew away. Hopefully that will not negatively impact Ryuki. We had to. If we didn't get rid of it, we would have been blown up. I mean, technically you would have been blown up. I'll, I'll be fine in the real world. I think... Well, actually, well, uh, I, uh, here's a good question, uh, if you were to die in the zombie world, does that mean that I die too? That is a very good question, I don't know. We never really tested that out with a sinker. Well, it may have been a tad excessive. Alright, finally back to normal. Except for the pumpkin What's head! What's going on? Left and right are reversed. Oh, shoot. Is this from Ryuki's dream? Oh, that's actually crazy. Even the even the text is a little bit wonky. Ryuki's dream is getting creepier and creepier. Oh shit. Oh fuck, I have to actually read backwards now. Ryuki can't blank. He blank. Mizuki, you have less than two minutes left. Be careful. Oh no, even the controls. What the fuck? fuck is going on? Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. Uh, fuck, is it? Okay, 
Ryuki. Is this Brahmin? Genny's place. Oh, Date and Ryuki, and Genny too. None of you get it. You don't appreciate how good at my job I am. Okay, I think you've had enough to drink. If you want a drink, we should go to Marble. This place has good food, not drinks. <laughs> it's okay. I'm such an arrogant piece of shit. Looks like we need him to cheer up a little. This guy requires so much maintenance. All right, how do we fix this? Uh, let's see, he needs something to pick him up. Not the, the, the beer or drinks or anything. He needs something else. Probably with the food, right? I had to walk around. Damn it! Hurry! You have less than a minute left. I know, I know. Fuck! I'm probably gonna fail this one. Eat this and cheer up. Ryuki, look. What's this? The special. Snake-inspired intestine soup, squeezed nuts, wide-legged old man's whisper sunfish, volcano-style old spirit impact. What kind of food is that, Adate? Now eat. This is gonna improve your mood whether you like it or not. Look, I get it. Higher-ups usually don't appreciate their subordinates' value. But I don't care about that. It's not that you're not skilled enough, or you don't have an eye for things. It's all about timing. There's a time for everything. Just continue what you're doing, until the time comes. Don't let it get to you, Ryuki. Stay strong and keep going. God. <laughs> okay, it is clear he Dante's not a good cook. I thought Dante I, I see I don't think Dante was ever a good cook. I kind of assumed he was like decent at it. But he's barely he's terrible at it. No, not here. Go to the restroom. Oh, please don't run too far, Yuki, please. Okay, I have one more lock. I hope I can clutch this. Stay strong. Keep going. Ivo, watch out! Okay, there's where the three falls. Oh, come on! Again with them! God, this is- this is gonna be one of the most frustrating Sonic worlds to date! So much bullshit happening in it, God! But I have to get up there to Ryuki! The real Ryuki is right there! I have to avoid every single one of those fucks. Oh no, no! Let's get through them. Oh no! This isn't good! No! Why is that to be upside down too? No! No! Okay. That's how we can do this. Oh god, I get so fucked. Indeed. Okay. Just frag him over. And just go around. Come on. We can do this. <sighs> Only 30 seconds left. Come on, don't hit him. Let me get through. Let me get through. Okay, where are you, where are you, Ryuki? Where are you? Where the fuck are you? There you are. Oh gosh. Ryuki, get a hold of yourself. Is all the uh boat? Is that them? Is that who? Oh, terror. This is all your fault. No! Stop it! You have no future. 
Shut up! Dahlia Boat! You son of a bitch! You killed Mr. Dante! Dahlia Boat? What a weird name! Oh, was that a little bit offensive, Kazuki? Yeah, it kind of was! Oh, sorry. I didn't... To be honest, he kind of like almost blew you up, so fuck him, right? Does that really matter right now? Uh, yeah, yeah, you have a point. Oh, I clutched it. I clutched it so hard, guys. Oh, that moment when they like, yo, know, put it upside down and like reversed it just scared the shit out of me. But I managed to do it. Woo! First try, bitches. We don't know much aside from the fact that now Mizuki knows the name Dahlia Boat. February 10th, Alone, Mizuki Chapter 0. Alright, now we're doing this in the reverse perspective now. Man, it's been a while. <laughs> what a what a turn of events, man. Like, now we're like, yo, know, looking at Ryuki and Mizuki's perspective. When originally we we looked at Mizuki and Ryuki's perspective. That's that's pretty interesting how they like weave this story together. Yeah, that's right, Ryuki. Uchikoshi says it's my turn to be the protagonist. Okay, so I think I have a little bit more time to like uh move on and such. It's only been like a uh, forty six minutes. I know that must sound long, but yeah. Still though, I feel like we didn't learn too much from that Somni world, aside from the fact that like now Mizuki knows that about Dahlia Boat. But I feel like we'll ask like Ryuki some questions to figure out like what's going on. So let's do this first, like search around. And also, I'll probably be able to, like, uh, voice all the narration in Mizuki's, like, voice. Just to make sure to spice things up, since, you know, I can't, like, doing Mizuki's voice. Alright, Ryuki. You're not really sober this time around. Ryuki is singing in front- Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Ryuki is singing in front of me. Why did you reverse sing? Want a drink? How are you feeling, sober? Want a drink? Sure do. Can I get a glass? Double shochu curry shot. Ew. I don't even know what that is. Uh, how are you feeling? Sober? Better. I only see two of you. I was seeing three of you earlier, so that's an improvement. That's... Oh, God, man. How drunk do you need to be for that to happen? Oh, God, man. I feel like there's gonna be, like, a lot of, like, health issues with you, Ryuki. Why did you reverse sync? Reverse sync? You tried to get into my head in the sink earlier, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. Actually, Mizuki, it is possible that he does not remember. The recipient of a sink does not literally experience what happens in their somnium. So he would not remember that. Then who was trying to reverse sink? Probably Tama, right? Perhaps Ryuki's subconscious. Oh, that? Wait, was I right? Did, does he have like a split personality or something? Or the collective unconscious. How does that even work, though? Does that mean anyone can do that? Wait, oh, hold on. Is that the thing where, like, if you, like, stay in Asomnia for too long, you get swapped? That's the unconscious that's doing that? It's like, wait. No, this has to be confused. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm kind of confused. You might want to explain this. How the fuck can, like, someone can just reverse sync you like that? It has to be a thing that only, like, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little... I'm... <sighs> Okay, give me some time to think. I'm, I'm, my brain is scrambling at this. So, can anyone do this? Or is this just a special case where, like, we sync with someone who is also a sinker? Maybe that's the, the explanation here. I don't know. Hey, Ryuki. Do you know the culprit? Yeah, but I kind of don't understand what the fuck it's all about, to be honest. It's like, Dolly a bow, like... I don't know what kind of name that is. If I did, I would have caught them already. The man in the iron mask, Insomnium. I know that he is the culprit in the HB case, Terror. But Dahlia Boat, is that another pseudonym? I heard the boat part six years ago at the cathedral. But Dahlia. Yeah, how'd you know about Dahlia though? Uh, I actually don't know myself. I kind of like, yo, know, caught her from a parallel world. Oh yeah. Of course! That explanation! Great! This bullshit again! How did you know that part of the name? Well, 
Yeah, how does he know now? It's like... Oh no, don't tell me. Is that this fucking parallel world shit again? Or is it like... I feel like Ryuki shouldn't know, but... I think he said, like, explanation in the last game where, like... Like, a small memory can trigger the entire memory. So, I guess Ryuki must have, like, remembered Dahlia somehow? I don't know. That's because... Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you okay, Ryuki? Hey, Ryuki. What's wrong? The fuck is What's happened to him? <laughs> Okay, I think he's gone loco. He's on cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. What the fuck? Ryuki's brain. I am detecting anomalies in the firing of multiple neurons. It is not fatal, but he will be unable to speak for a while. Ah, God damn it! What caused it? Unknown. Yeah, it's like, I think his condition got worse. The whole thing where he just suddenly speaks Ch Is that actually what he's been saying? That, that like weird like moment where he like shouted those weird things. Is that actually what he was saying in those Chinese words? Because we didn't really get to see what like, yo, what he looked like in other people's perspective when he's going through that entire, like, brain meltdown. However, it is advisable to not continue pressing Ryuki further. Then I guess I'll have to investigate the old-fashioned way. Yeah, bye, bye No, Mitsuki, not with your metal pipe! Well, I see, no, I was going to, like, you know, go around the city and ask people, other people questions and such, you know, the Dante way. Oh! Okay, I was kind of expecting you to take out your metal pipe and start being his head in. Well, I can do that now! No, Mizuki! <sighs> oh, you never let me have any fun, Aiba. Okay, so what do we do now? February 11th, pass mildly away. Mizuki chapter 1. I swear to God, if I end up in Boss's fucking room again, probably will, though. Abyss HQ, February 11th, Monday, 9.30. Fucking Christ. Ah, oh, God damn it! I'm in this room again. All right. Ryuki, I heard you sinked into Ryuki, but you didn't get anything out of it. Yeah, but it was kind of fun, wasn't it, boss? It was. Come on, admit it. Okay, it wasn't fun. I know. I know. It sucked. Sixteen whole episodes for that bull crap. Yeah, that was definitely worth the money. And it's definitely worth more than whatever the fuck I have to look into this room for. All the freaking comedy, all the stupid freaking eyes to go look through. Okay, Mizuki, you're starting to turn into Ricky now. You're starting to lose your mind. No, 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 I'm fine, Aiba. I'm fine. See, look at over there, over there. It's that pumpkin you had to wear throughout the entire Sodomy world. I think his name was Jack. Right? Right. Okay, okay, let's do this, boss. Let's fucking do this. I'm... <sighs> Shit! I, I hate looking through this place. I know, I'm, I'm ranting for too long. Come on. Scary Lanterns. He used to say that all the time. And I have to do it in Mizuki's voice, so my my voice is fucked. Thankfully, I can only like be selective about it. I'll bully that balloon is what I was going to say, but it decided against it. I already lost a few of my brain cells already. Great, I actually have to go slow now, because I have to do it in Mizuki's voice. That's Ma's grave. Ma? From the host club? Yup. I dug him that grave after he cancelled on me last minute. That doesn't sound like a joke. Hmm, okay. I want a drink. You're only 18, so no. Then I'll partake. And you're 12. Hold up, Iva. Can you even drink? Well, it's the first time for anything, Mizuki. Ah, yeah, 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 he said it! He said it! That's my line, though, Ibo. So, can't have it! A ball it is what it looks like, but it's actually a mysterious organism that flew down from outer space. Now that's scary. <laughs> I'm thinking we're gonna enjoy doing this with Mizuki's voice. I am. Oh, it's a massive skateboard wheel. Well, looking closer, it's a red lantern. Mizuki, you know about that mannequin, right? 
Yeah, I heard stories about it. Yeah, we've talked a few times. Oh, God. About what, Mizuki? Uh, why can't I eat just the toppings? Boss's friend, Mario. Okay. Why is there a big catch flag here? You don't get it? The criminals we arrest are our biggest catches. No, oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I will shine like a light on this case. It is what I was going to say, but I decided against it. Did you know that fugitive can mean a person running from the law and also how color changes due to light in the atmosphere? What the fuck are you talking about, Mizuki? I don't know. I'm on drugs. Because I see a cricket inside that potted plant. I have a brought it in secret. She really loves insects. I hope Boss there finds out, though. She probably lose her shit. <laughs> the cricket inside of it. Hey, it's the pumpkin that you wore, Iba. Why do we call pumpkins Jack? Oh, great. Here we go again. Why, boss? Yeah, he could be Bill. You two get along well. Not gonna say anything. Not gonna say anything. What's your favorite shogi piece? I like the gold one and the one with the stud on it. Yeah, I can see that. Me too. Why are volleyballs colored like that? They color them like a crazy person's website. What? I don't get it. Blue, yellow, white? Yeah, I don't get it. You turn over the rug. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So technically, like, not Mizuki narrating? I see. Fuck that. I'm gonna, like, do it the Mizuki way. I turned over the rug. There's BL manga hidden underneath, under it. That's my kind of thing. God dang. Really hot. There was a murder at Spur a long time ago. The culprit's name was... No, don't say it. Spoilers. What? Spur a long time ago? The culprit's name was... Hey, I don't get it. Well, whatever. Mizuki, I've got it. When you square the hypotenuse of a triangle, you get the sum of the squares of the other two sides. That is the Pythagorean theorem. So... what? <laughs> that was weird. You guys say the weirdest thing, I swear. If there are a lot of fish in the sea, why am I drowning? There, there. Ah, she's drunk again. Hey, Prez. You are looking so cute today. What the hell are you doing? Those guys belong to Lemniscape, right? I was hoping a certain someone might arrange a meeting. Oh yeah, she technically is the president of Limbus Gate. I wonder if really she gets calls like all the time. Iva, let's get out of here. We've got a case to solve. Hey, come on! Heh. <laughs> it looks like an old map, but I changed it recently. This one shows the Belt Transit System, the BTS. Isn't that copyrighted? Huh? What do you mean? I don't get. Larger than I don't get. Mizuki, could you find me one of those yellow bath buckets? Why? I would like to make a pool out of it. Okay. That reminds me of Iris for some reason. <sighs> I hope that girl is doing okay. Nah, yeah, she's doing fine. She's out there just screaming about parallel worlds for the umpteenth time. Iris's condition is cured. Don't jinx it. Let's be real here, Mizuki. Sometimes I wonder if it really was. With the way she acts, it's a broken clock. Mizuki used to like talk about this a lot. Hey, Mizuki. You ever get your boyfriend that hard? What boyfriend? You know, the one with the headphones. Ah, he well. One day. No, you don't even have a boyfriend. Even if I did, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, she'll she'll almost be everything. A mask. It reminds me of the masked woman. Who was she, anyway? She's so weird. The ribbon. I used to read that a lot when I was younger. That manga magazine. Ribbon. I, wait, I don't get it. What, what What does a ribbon have to do with a manga? I don't know, yeah, okay. I don't, I don't get it. At all. Yeah, this should be everything. Hopefully, please. Please let it be everything. Alright, what is it? Posters, ads, and flyers cover the wall. What does something does don't have a cat mean? Yeah, what does it mean? What does it mean, writers? You have something against cats? All right, that's this key too. A key, a Dante key. 
I don't get it. A date key? A date key? Date key? I don't get it. I don't get it. Probably a pun, but I don't get it. Alright, finally! We're done with this fucking place. God, that was so... Once again, the bot. Oh no, the tanuki, I forgot. Boss, you got fat. I'm over here. Okay, that's it. Oh, come on. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. It should be everything. It should be everything, hopefully. Hopefully, please. Save me from this madness. Okay, uh, let me see. Probably, maybe boss. About singing without permission. How late were you out drinking last night? Is Yuki okay? About the corpse at the stadium. Okay, Aiba. Why are you there? What are you looking at? And what's your body made, it, made out of? Okay, well, let's, like, talk with Aiba. Aiba popped out of my left eye socket and is relaxing next to boss. Okay, so why are you there? It gets really tight in your eye socket, you know. Ah, fuck you then, Aiba! I wanted to stretch out a bit so I don't get too used to that economy class. Excuse me, my left eye is first class, unlike Date. <laughs> really? Can't really tell the difference to be honest. I think her eye would be smaller, technically, but yeah. What are you looking at? Why do you ask? Isn't it obvious what I'm looking at? Yeah, Mizuki. Oh god, well, I wonder what she would do if she saw herself. <laughs> That'd be funny. Who's that? Introduce myself. This is how I appear in Aipa's vision. God, I'm so hot! Introduce myself. I'm Mizuki Date, formerly Okiura. I'm a senior at Sekiba High. I'm 18. I run a company and I'm a singer at Abyss. Recently, I've been worried that my lifestyle is making my skin break out and I'm putting on weight. And since I run into so many low-life criminals, it's really been affecting me. You seem tired. Don't push yourself too hard. Yeah, I won't. Who's that, though? Who is this cutie? Her cuteness is gonna make my eyes pop out of their sockets. Your eye is already popped out. No one ever compliments me, so I had to do it myself. But in all seriousness, I might just be the prettiest girl on the planet. <laughs> She's very pretentious. <sighs> Why is it I can't seem to find any decent men? Because you've rejected every man that's come close to you? Yeah, because you all suck compared to Shoma! Because they're all pushy basic bros. Yeah, basic bitches! I'm like Shoma! Oh, God, man! He's... Where's my Shoma baby? I, I want to make out with him so bad! Okay, she's looking you're starting to get just as horny as Dante. Yeah, don't care! That's enough, Iba. You can close it. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, I'm a, I'm a little bit embarrassed now. But I still want my Shoma baby boy! Give my baby boy! Alright, boss. Time to talk with you. Boss is sitting on the desk. I mean, I see you should be so good, but whatever. Without singing without permission, how late were you out drinking last night? Yeah, how late were you out drinking last night? Wait, how did you know? Peter told me. <sighs> Running his mouth. I'm gonna cut his pay. You're getting old. You should stop cruising bars. Ugh, could you not sound like my daughter? Yeah, who is this daughter of hers? I still haven't, like, seen her in Ryuki's perspective. Daughter? Ah. Uh, you have a daughter? Well, yeah. I had no idea you had an illegitimate daughter. At your age, too! Whoa, that's, that's, that's wild! She's not illegitimate. It's not like a secret or anything. It's just... no one ever asked. Alright, can I see her then? Okay, that's enough digging into my private life for the day. Hmm, okay. Is Ryuki okay? He was carried to the medical office last night. After a day's rest, he gathered himself and headed home. I'm guessing he's drinking again. Should we use GPS? No, it's fine. I won't get anything useful from him right now. Ryuki is currently on leave. After the explosion six years ago... He just needs more time. More time! It's been like six years, boss! I'd like to have him help with the investigation, but... I don't want to put that pressure on him right now. You know, you kind of did like six years ago when you demoted him. Nice job, boss. About singing without permission. Oh, so you do understand that you did it without my permission. You said you'd let me handle it. And I also said not to do anything dangerous. Come on, it's not like singing is dangerous or anything. Well... I kinda almost ran out of time and all that, but... It, 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 details, boss! Details! Ugh. 
Well, I did find a lead. Yeah, about Dahlia Bodo. About the corpse at the stadium, though. You heard about the DNA results, right? Yeah, like Jin Furray's. That, that was Jin Furray's body of the half. Yeah, Peter told me last night. The DNA extracted from Jin's right half six years ago. The base sequence was an exact match with the left half that was found. A 100% match. They definitely belong to the same person. But how is that possible? Yeah, how is it possible? I don't understand that part. What the fuck did, like, uh, the masked man, I mean, terror, how did he manage to do that? So, about the masked woman. Masked woman? The shady chick who tried to shoot me with a gun. Oh, her. We're looking into her based on what Iba recorded. But we haven't found anything yet. No witness statements either. Maybe she's with terror. Why would you think that? Well, she looked like a bad guy. As a police officer, you should refrain from judging by appearances. Oh, shoot. I had advanced the plot. Hey, Mizuki. Aren't you forgetting something? Yeah, I know. The other piece of dialogue that I should have, like, talked to you further about. Huh? Was it? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm your superior. You should be more respectful when talking to me. Oh, yeah, my bad. Sir, yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. I'll be careful, boss lady. <laughs> <sighs> Teenagers. So, what are you going to do now, Mizuki? I don't know. I think I'm going to head to the stadium. There might be some leads that only I can find. Sounds good. But, as I said before, don't push yourself too hard. Yes, don't go crazy like Mizuki did, please. That'd be really bad if, like, two people went crazy on my watch. Yeah, yeah. Respectful. Roger that, Sergeant. Sheesh. <laughs> this is gonna be a funny gag. Okay, about Dahlia Boat, though. Dahlia Boat, huh? Yeah, it's a weird day right now, but just go with it. It's, it's, it's the best lead we got. But what does that get us, exactly? I searched every database I have access to. I did not find anything that connects that name with terror. There's got to be some kind of hidden meaning. Ryuki would know. Yeah, something about boats. Probably Ryuki and his brother like boats or something. It's probably like Ryuki's brother or some shit. You can't assume that, Mizuki. I checked the sync log this morning and something is definitely off. We know Ryuki isn't mentally stable right now. A person's memory can be wrong at times, especially after trauma or mental disturbance. Yeah. Well, actually, that is... Is that possible? I don't think this ever happened in the previous game, or, you know, in this one so far, but... I guess, it's like, Ryuki is a really special, like, you know, exception. So we can't assume anything we got from Ryuki is the truth? Boss is correct. There is no guarantee that what is experienced in Somnium is exactly what that person saw. Yeah, but it isn't completely random either. The person being synced had to have experienced something that made their Somnium that way. True, but... Listen, it's just best that you don't put too much stock into what Ryuki says right now. Yeah, I suppose so. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the stadium and then, like, uh, do what I need to do there. Then maybe I'll end the episode off. Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't get, like, uh, stuck into, like, a uh, another cutscene or a long session. That'd be really, really bad. Oh, my... Oh, really? That's her motorcycle? I thought it was gonna be, like, a cool one. Like, in, like, uh, uh, like, in Tron or something. A cool, technical, advanced motorcycle. What a disappointment. This fight really sucks, Haifa. Shut up, Mizuki. I want a cool motorcycle one day. I deserve one! Fuck! No, oh, the body's gone. Great. The body's been taken away. Of course. The winter cold may help, but the body would still naturally decompose if left unattended. They also needed to perform an autopsy. <sighs> I just wish I could have examined it a little more. Yeah. Why not use my function? Oh, the thing again. What function? This is not your first crime scene. You have done this many times before. Yeah, but technically this is kind of like a tutorial section, you know, I buff, you know, you know. Oh, that. Indeed. I buff, please do your thing. At once. 
Alrighty. I haven't done this in a while. Hopefully nothing explodes. I am replaying the scene from when the body was found. I have scanned from edge to edge for this recreation. I really can't get used to this. It's like going back in time. But I thought I remembered officers being around. Oh, right. This would be our first time seeing the scene this way. When creating a VR space for an investigation, irrelevant information is not replicated. Got it. That makes total sense. That's pretty powerful. I sure hope the government doesn't know about this or, you know, the regular citizens of the country would be really fucked since, you know, the government doesn't care about this. Okay, Mizuki, you might want to stop talking before you get Robbie demonetized. Now, let us begin. The point I am most curious about is how the body was carried over there. As I previously stated, no footprints were found at the scene. Maybe it was done by a helicopter or some shit. Let us focus our investigation on that fact first. That's the only thing you can think of. This is a helicopter or something. Maybe from underground somehow. Virtual reality activation. I really want to know how this even was possible. Okay, so there's like three things happening on the place here. What's this over here? Audience seat. The bleachers are empty. Hey, Iba. How far is it from the corner of the seats to the middle of the center circle? Approximately 190 to 220 feet. Hmm, okay. Could the body have been thrown from the bleachers? Mmm, that's too much of a stretch, really. Pardon? Really, Mizuki? Really? Come on, was just a guess! Better than what you're doing right now is saying nothing! That would explain how the body got there with no footprints. Hold on. There is so much wrong with that. What do you mean? The record for the hammer throw is 284 feet. The hammer is 16 pounds. The body in question is indeed cut in half, but it still must weigh more than that. Maybe they used a catapult. Oh my god. <laughs> so that is completely impossible. The state of the body excludes that possibility. Alright, fine, jeez. Pardon me for trying to make this investigation a little fun. Soccer goal. A soccer goal. Oh yeah. A soccer goal. Okay, I guess none again. Must be important somehow. Wish I could just run in this like place. That'd be great. It's a display board showing lap times. No, nothing else here, okay. Those sound important, but I guess not. Halfway line. It's the halfway line for soccer. Nothing? Okay. Field. The melted snow has the wet grass, but there are no footprints. Hmm, okay. I guess I have to examine the body then. Every time I see this, it hits me that this is really Jin Furue. It's crazy that the other half of his body was found six years later. The cause of death was the body becoming severed in two. He was cut at a molecular level, identical to the right half that was found six years ago. Yeah, but like, his left half seemed like his like his arms are like behind him and such. Why is this one forward? Is it actually a clue as to like, how the, the person died? Like, there might be something different with the other half of the, the body of the victims and such. It might be possible that the left half of the victim's body might give us a bit of a clue as to how they died. Like, uh, I guess he must have been like walking or something. Or like, he had his like, I don't know, this is a little bit confusing, but... Hmm, I'll probably have to think about it a little bit more before I spitball ideas. The culprit is most likely terror. And no other damage to the body besides being cut in half, right? None. But this one wasn't blown up for some reason. Nothing like falling from a great height? Impossible. If that had happened, there would be signs of impact damage to the body. Hmm. Obtain information, body. The only wounds on the body are the cut itself. Okay. There's an odd spot on the ground. Is it a natural object somewhere on the ground? A natural. Where? Oh, there it is. Okay. Switch mode. Maybe examine the corpse again? His bone structure is standard. Nothing has been done to his face. But what about the last time, though? Like, 
That was when, like, Terror set up, like, the bomb and such. Nor his body. So you're saying... There is no evidence of plastic surgery. It's Jin for sure. Hmm. Jin Furay's face and body show no signs of plastic surgery. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe the halfway line? Oh wait, the small object. Hmm? There's something in the grass. It appears to be a screw. A screw? The grass was so long you couldn't see it with the naked eye. Screw. There's a screw on the halfway line. Okay, what's the screw about though? And something other than the snow was detected somewhere on the ground. Other than the snow. Halfway line? What's this? Hey, look at the halfway line. What the heck is that? It's hard to tell because of the white chalk, but I see slight grooves in the ground with the x-ray mode. Is this a tire tread? A bike, maybe. If that were the case, we would see evidence of two overlapping tire treads. Yeah. But there is only the one. So, a unicycle? What, the terrorists just like, you know, ride in with a unicycle and just drop the body there? That's weird. <laughs> That'd be a weird image to see. So, something with one wheel. This tire track, it looks familiar. How so? Is a tire track on the halfway line. Okay. Something other than snow was detected somewhere on the ground. Uh, where though? There's the tire like area. Screw. Maybe there's a thermo. Exists. Humid area. The temperature is a little lower here. It's like something spilled. This is related to specific heat capacity. What's that? Basically, it is how easily something heats up or cools down. Something that heats up and cools down easily has a low specific heat capacity. So I have a low specific heat capacity. All right, sure, whatever you say, Mizuki. I'm trying to explain this little thing, but go on, keep telling your stupid jokes. You have the opposite. Anyway. As you can see, the melted snow has caused water to begin to pool. However, whatever liquid spilled here has a lower specific heat capacity than water, so you perceive it as being colder. So, his body was, like, kept cold then. But, I'm not really confused. I'm not, maybe I'm, like, jumping the gun on this one. Any idea on what it could be? Analysis complete. It is an oil used for lubricating machines. Machine oil, huh? Hmm. There's oil spilled near the halfway line. Alright. That should complete the investigation. Using the evidence we found, we can replay Terror's actions. How did Terror move the body to where it was found? That's what we need to figure out. Let us begin. How is the body carried without leaving footprints? We should consider how exactly it was carried. How the corpse ended up where it did. Yes. Okay. Wasn't dropped from above, over a soccer field, teleportation, thrown from the seat. <laughs> like, I don't want to, like, just say this, just because, like, Mizuki's just like, that kind of person. Thrown from the seat. If it was thrown, the body would have hit the ground hard. Come on! The idea sounds cool! Right, Aiba? <laughs> but there's no sign of impact damage. Only wounds on the body are cutting itself. There is only one way the body could have ended up there without sustaining any additional damage. I suppose dropped from above? Hold on. That would cause a ton of damage to the body. That is like, well, that's it. I, I suppose it was drove in or something. I don't, I don't know. You know yeah. But the body shows no wounds other than the vertical slice. Therefore... Teleportation? Oh, over soccer field, I suppose. The only wounds on the body are the cut there itself. There was no additional damage to the body. 
If it was dropped from above or thrown from somewhere, that wouldn't be the case. Though the latter sounds a lot more cool and such, and you know, shut up, Azuki, shut up about your stupid throwing bodies from the seats and shit! Correct. Now consider the lack of footprints. There were no footprints. But we did find other prints, right? Yeah. What specifically? The, uh, tire tracks. Here. Right here, on the halfway line. There's a tire truck and a halfway line. See the line. tire track? Something with one wheel was used to carry the body. Alright. Something with just one wheel made this track. What was it? Spinny ring thing. Rope. What? Shoma? No! A robot. Shoma's robot. I think it was a robot. The screw we found in the grass. Oh my god. But what? Wait. How does Shoma connect with Jin Fure? Unless Terra somehow stole Shoma's robot. This is. And the machine oil? What the fuck is going on here? You have to think they're connected. Perhaps a one wheeled robot. But we cannot conclude that it was a robot based on this evidence alone. I guess not. But. Oh, God. Those tire marks looked familiar. I don't, I'm not liking where this is going. That cannot be Shoma who's behind this. Right? <laughs> Look at Aiba. Let us imagine it was a mono wheel robot. Now, Aiba, what the f what is this? You like it? It's my helicopter form, kind of. Kind of like going out of my spine a little bit, so it's kind of looking a little bit weird. It's making me look a little fat. But hey, you look cute, right? Uh, more creepy than cute, Aiba. More creepy than cute. And it carried the body along the halfway line. Yeah. Let us begin recording. Huh? Recording? Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Yugi told me about this! This is gonna be some cringe shit! Okay, Miss Star in the making. Oh my god! Dude, I thought this was just a Tama thing. I am the director slash cameraman, Aiba Kurosawa. Kurosawa? You don't know Kurosawa? Alright! That guy! Kurosawa? I actually don't know. I am going to start rolling soon, so please show me your best acting. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Oh, God. Uh, hold on. I don't even know what this is. No talking back to your director. You're an actress. I'm a police officer. That is basically the same thing. For both jobs, you need to show some skin. Neither job requires showing skin. Enough worrying about the little details. You simply need to play the part of terror. Why? Let us begin. Ready? Action! My name is Terror. Twas I who cut Jin in half. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Now I shall carry this corpse to the center of the pitch. Oh, this is some superb acting. So, how are you going to accomplish that? Using this! Yeah, it's Shoma's robot, all right. I'll use this robot remotely and... Uh, this is hard. Okay, how did the bolt come out of the robot, though? Wonderful. Great acting. Gotta hate you, Aiba. You better pay me I for this. I especially liked the performance of your eyes. You have the eyes of someone who has actually killed a man before. Oddly suspicious, Mizuki. Can you not say that, please? Anyway, this robot. Uh, I don't like where this is going.
Oh my god. I didn't expect to, to beat Shoma this early. But why would Shoma... I don't, I don't think Shoma did it. Terra has got to have stolen, like, Shoma's robot somehow or something. Aiba, you were thinking the same thing, huh? Yes, I saw it before as well. Shoma's one-wheeled robot. Do you recall the grooves on that tire? But it just can't be. Shoma can't be Terror. Yeah, I refuse! He's my boy! He's my little munchkin! No way someone like him can be the murderer! I, I refuse to believe it! I refuse to believe it! Despite the circumstances, the possibility is not zero. No way. I don't care! It can be 100% for all I care! I'm gonna make out with them at the end of this game! I swear it! I swear it, I will! The best thing to do is confirm with him directly. Where is Shoma? Unknown. Oh, it's not in his home? Really? I cannot locate his GPS signal. His smartphone is either off or somewhere with no reception. Ah, jeez, these people like to do that a lot. So sending a Nile message is pointless too. Guess we have no choice but to look for him. Where could Shoma be? Probably at the Ferris wheel place. Naturally, we should head to the Enda residence. There is also a high likelihood of him being at Brahmin or Matsushita Diner. I think I've seen him testing his robot at Yoyagi Park, too. While not directly related to Shoma, there are records of Jin Furue being hospitalized at Central Hospital. Maybe we can ask about Jin, too. We should also head to Sekiba High. Alright, for whatever reason. That's where the second body in the HB case was found. That we still didn't figure out how he died, by the way! We still haven't figured that out! Yeah, we still haven't figured that out, developers. What the fuck? Hopefully we find out how, like, Chikara died, please! Where should we go first? My voice is cracky, I know. I'm losing my mind. Okay, but that is a very perfect way to, like, end this episode off. But the... Oh, jeez. Jeez. This is... This isn't going to go well, lol. It is- it isn't. So now, we find out that, like, maybe Shoma might be the one who, like, uh, carried Jin Furay's body here with this robot. But I don't think it was Shoma. It must have been Terror. Terror must have somehow stolen, like, you know, Shoma's robot and forced it to, like, do all this. And maybe it's trying to, like, frame Shoma because I don't think Shoma would even have anything to do with it, like the uh, the HB serial case because his father died as a result of this so why would Shoma like help Terror that would make no sense but we're gonna have to like uh find like Shoma somewhere wherever he is and you know all that such and we'll have to like uh you know explore all these places to try and find him and such but we'll have to save all of that for the next episode anyways guys hope you all enjoyed this episode of ai the summary of files nirvana initiative if you did and would like to see more please be sure to leave a like and a comment down in the comment section and if you have not already i would like for you to leave a subscribe that would make me a very happy person and i promise you all that this theory will be around for the next episode until then guys i bid you all a fond farewell